afternoon. Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2007 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado this afternoon. GXL wagon. Starting at the front of the car, finished in metallic silver as you can see. Chrome grille running through the middle. Driving lights down in the bottom of our bumper bar. Presents really well the paintwork, especially for an 07. As we come around to the driver's side, a couple of really minor little uh, cosmetic marks just on our side of our front bumper there. Um, as we look down the driver's side, few things to take note of. We've got obviously factory alloy wheels with all-terrain tyres and have a look at the tread on those tyres. Pretty much brand new. Um, so uh, plenty of Ks in the, in the tyres on this car. Sidestep standard uh, being the GXL. Chrome outer door mirror. We've got colour coded outer door handles. Uh, also important to note, you can see the rear windows have been tinted on this car. Um, just uh, you know, gives it that better look. Protect the kids uh, when they're in the car, and keeping a close focus on the overall condition of the exterior of this car, because in in really impressive condition for a car approaching eight years old. As we move around towards the rear, got all of our chrome badging, our spare wheel cover as well. Um, and once again, presentation of the rear of the car. Um, we've got the protective step on the uh, bumper bar there as well. Um, our high mount stop lighters also. Um, and once again, just presents really well. A really minor little touch up just on the corner of that rear bar. Um, but you know what, I'm struggling to find any marks on this car, so that's a good thing. Um, as we come around this side of the car, our alloy wheels basically are unmarked um, and once again so is the exterior on this side of the car as well. So um, as I mentioned at the start of the video, 2007 model and to present the way it does is really a credit to whoever's owned this car previously. So back around at the front of the car now, we'll have a bit of a chat about the, uh, the uh, motor. Powered by a 4 litre V6, it's going to deliver good, good power good performance, 179 kilowatts, 343 newton metres of torque and give us 13.1 litres combined per 100 k's. A really big fuel tank in these cars, 180 litre fuel tank, so long range tank will get you in excess of 1,370 kilometres. Around at the rear of the Prado now and uh, they do have the barn door set up so uh, really, really big opening once, uh, once we've got that tailgate right open. Um, gives us a really large storage area if we're not utilising the third row seats um, and they are split. The good thing I like about the Prados is they fold right up out of the way so it opens all of this area right up. We can extend that storage capacity by folding up the uh, second row seats if we need to. Uh, one thing I just want you to pay attention to, look at the condition of the interior. It is spot on. So inside the Prado now, and we'll just run through the features that this car has. Um, our power window switches are just on our driver's armrest. Power mirror uh, switch just on the front here. Uh, also, uh, cruise control on our right hand side of our steering wheel. It is height adjustable by the lever on the left, our steering wheel. And then all of our audio controls on our left hand side. Um, and then we do have a uh, second start button, which is just a backup there on our left also. Moving into the centre section, up the top our uh, clock and also gives us an outside reading of the temperature. Quite warm here in Berwick today. And down below that, six stack in-dash CD player incorporating Bluetooth as well. And we do have auxiliary input there on our right hand side. Dual zone climate control air conditioning. Obviously, we've got it set to cold today and running, and I've got to say, it is stunning air conditioning. It's absolutely beautiful. I think I'll film this video and stay in the car for the rest of the day. We've got a 12 volt outlet down the bottom there, our four wheel drive lever to our left hand side, and then our T bar for our automatic transmission here to our right as well. Handbrake to the right, really large console or storage area here, cup holders at the front, and also, on a long trip, if you want to just pull this uh, console lid forward, just give you that additional armrest, you've got it there as well. Now, just in keeping with the consistency of the car, scanning around the interior of the car, having a look at the seats and the door trims and everything, 
Um, it just impress it, it just impresses me the way this car presents. Really well looked after. Uh, as I've mentioned, I might, might have been going on about it, but you know what? As I said, for a car approaching eight years old, it is super impressive the way this car presents. So we're going to have a quick look at the service history. Drop the service books on the ground, Mark. Well done. Privately owned car originally. And uh, let us go to the service books. Have a good look. So from our 10,000 Ks, 20,000, 30, 40, fairly consistent, 56, 68, 79. I know we've just done a current intermediate service on the car. And uh, so, yeah, all good. So in summary, few key points, 179 kilowatts of power, 343 newton metres of torque, giving us 13.1 litres combined per 100 k's, long range fuel tank, um, just the overall presentation of this car is outstanding. Feel free to give us a call on 99070555 for further assistance.